head. It is appointed unto man once to die. Thou shalt die and not live. Now the great question is, are you ready to meet God? Because the Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die, but after that, the judgment. There is something after death according to this book. Now again, I say I can't take you to a scientific laboratory and prove it to But this book teaches from Genesis to Revelation that this life is only a preparation room for eternity. There is another life. The Old Testament teaches it, the New Testament teaches it, Jesus taught it, the apostles taught it. If a man dies, shall he live again? That's the question Job asked. That's the question that millions are asking tonight, and the answer from the Bible is a resounding yes! Yes! Paul taught, we have the mind of Christ and exalted, let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy mind. Evil thoughts are the suicide of the soul. The Bible speaks of those who have hostile minds, minds that are blinded, reprobate minds, doubtful minds, carnally minded, or shaken in mind, or troubled in mind, or double-minded man. Some have blown their minds on drugs. The Bible promises that we can be transformed by the renewing of our minds. You can have your mind tonight transformed. You can have it renewed and surrendered to Christ. And the peace of God will keep your mind. If the Bible teaches anything, it teaches that Jesus Christ is coming back again. And the coming of Christ will be a time of judgment. But for the believer, for the true church, it'll be a time of joy and gladness and happiness and reunion and heaven. And you have a choice as to which world you're going to live in. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And where I am, there ye may be also. Every time you flee from the presence of God, you're in trouble. Every time. Every time you miss your devotional life. Every time you miss your time of prayer. Every time you miss your time of reading the Word. As a Christian, you're in trouble. And every time you hear the Gospel and do nothing about it, you're in trouble. You're in eternal trouble. Because living inside of your body is a spirit. And that spirit lives forever, either in heaven or hell and you're taking a chance every time you hear the gospel and do nothing about it. David, the man after God's own heart, also became guilty of sin. He became guilty of adultery and guilty of murder. And he suffered for it the rest of his life. God forgave him, but the scars remain. Many of you are trying to flee from God tonight. Most of you have been baptized or you've been confirmed or whatever they you are. But you are not sure that Christ lives in your heart. You're not sure that your sins are forgiven. You're not sure that if you died, you'd go to heaven.